We're here with Penn State men's volleyball head coach Mark Pavlik again. Coach, let's talk about last weekend real quick, your first home stand here. Uh, both Peter and Aaron Russell came out to play really well. What did you think of your first weekend in Rec Hall? Uh, it's always great to play at home your first first time there, and, uh, especially with this group where you know, we got some freshmen playing for the first time on the Rec Hall floor, some redshirt freshmen who are actually in uniform for the first time on the floor. Uh, I thought we had a great crowd, uh, really pleased with the effort we got top to bottom from every guy on our roster. Uh, it, whenever you can have all of your roster execute and play at a level that's pretty high, uh, it just means good things for the rest of the year. On the other side of that, the fans got a chance to see what Jay and Colin and I have seen all fall. Uh, this is a group that from top to bottom, they, they push each other hard. And, when we select our travel squad, we leave a couple of guys home that are pretty good players. And that same crowd will get to see uh, the same team again this weekend. You guys have Rutgers Newark and NGIT Friday and Saturday. Talk about what you can expect from those two this weekend. Yeah, we get to kick off our EIBA schedule. And, uh, you know, that's the most important thing we have. Uh, we got to win the EIBA to get to the national championships. And uh, this is the way we want to start off. Our goal is to make sure we host the EIVA champ semifinals and finals here at Rec Hall in April and we've got to take our first steps this weekend. Rutgers Newark has uh, three really good arms in their lineup and uh, guys, juniors and seniors that are coming back. Uh, they have some young freshmen that uh, uh, they beat Sacred Heart I think last week in three and uh, so they're, they're always dangerous. Uh, you get in the men's game, you get people that can serve the ball well and hit the ball well, and uh, all of a sudden they can shorten games uh, for for their team. Uh, New Jersey Tech has kind of struggled over the past couple of years, but um, Ryan McNeil has had uh, some good experience coaching at Lewis. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that his team's going to walk in here and, and try to be physical with us. And again, we're just going to have to maintain a a pretty consistently high level of play and force teams to play well for a long period of time to beat us. And your team's seven matches into the season, but this will be your first weekend of conference play. Is it any different going into it? No, it's just part of the season. I don't think we really look at things breaking up, breaking up the year by non-conference conference. I think you just look at getting better each and every time you get a chance to be in the gym, whether it's in practice or in competition. Really, all, all our goal is on Friday is to be 1-0 and after that match and be 1-0 and after Saturday's match. And this is also, again, the second weekend in a row you'll be at home. What's the feeling knowing that you get to be in Rec Hall again in front of your own crowd? Uh, it's just a feeling of comfort. I think that's what everybody feels when they're playing at home. You get to sleep in your own bed. You get to stay in your own routine. You go to your classes. You, you know what the weekend holds for you. You get to be with friends and family, they're probably coming up for matches, and it just makes everything, you're in your own locker room, you're in your own training room, everything is just familiar, and, and I think that goes a long way to just getting guys relaxed and in the proper mindset to compete. All right, thanks coach, we'll talk to you later this week. All right.